TENS machine, or do we have the prop? Yeah. Here we go. What is that? So uh, this is a TENS unit. They use it a lot for physical therapy, where you place the electrodes in a specific spot, and then you give stimulation. But this unit is specifically for labor and delivery because it gives you intermittent uh, pulses. Mm -hmm. But then when you get a contraction, you press the boost button. And then it's a constant, you know, uh, uh, pulse. And it could work one of three ways. It could either work because you start using it early labor and it helps your body um, release those natural endorphins because you're getting that stimulation. They also think it may work because it floods your nervous system. So it's kind of like you're distracted from, you know, the pain. But it can also be a placebo effect. Exactly. And I think, you know, if anything, that it helped me just pressing hey, that boost button, it feeling helps. in control. Doctor, your thoughts on this and that uh, ball? I was a little surprised to see, you know, somebody well, on a ball when they're about to give birth. The, the problem with, the, with that particular ball, and the, we use other balls in, South, in, in different hospitals mm -hmm. and through the Baptist system we have, is that she is someone that's used to um, exercising mm. on a ball. She is used to the whole concept of the exercise because there is, and she knows quite well, there's a hood possibility of you falling down off the ball if you're not used to it. And you know, I did switch over to the ones that the hospitals had. Because once, you know, the pain started getting more intense, the ones in the hospital, they did help me feel more, more in control because the shape is a little bit different. Got it. So you don't have to, you know, work so hard to find your balance. So. And how does the ball work, doctor? I mean, how does it help in terms well, of that? I, I think that in general, as she described early, in early labor, because that ball could be used uh, in early labor when your your water hasn't broke, that you don't have you don't have to be in bed. It helps you, I think, the exercise, uh, strengthening your muscles, moving around. I think in general, it's a good idea. Um, a lot of times, I recommend for this to be done at home, because in a hospital setting, because of liability, we tend to monitor patients a lot more. If you could have a, an external monitor, but not every unit has mm -hmm. every one of those external monitors in which you could be out of bed. But once your water breaks, and then you are pretty much committed to the bed, we have what we call bean balls, which is something that allows you to separate and allows for the baby to drop. And it's some of the stuff that we're using to encourage vaginal delivery at the Baptist Health System.